in the Biorobotics Lab and the Manipulation Lab at the Robotics Institute at Carnegie Mellon University, we have been developing new kinds of climbing mechanisms. These climbing robots use dynamic motions without any special attachment mechanisms to climb upwards. As part of this project, we are investigating minimalist climbing using dynamic motions. By minimalist, we mean that the mechanism can climb up between two parallel walls with as few motors as possible, in this case, only one. As an extension to this planar climbing robot, we have been developing a miniaturized 3D version that climbs inside two. Previous vibrating climbing mechanisms rely on unidirectional friction. Energy transferred into the system will then be transformed into motion in the direction of the lowest friction. Our system, on the other hand, does not rely on such mechanism and uses isotropic friction. This enables us to change directions more easily and enables a safe withdrawal of the mechanism when power is shut off. In order to climb, our mechanism moves an eccentric mass in a constant velocity. This motion produces an oscillating force that generates the desired gait. Two O-rings are used to increase friction and to locate the contact point precisely. This mechanism is able to climb up circular and square tubes. Here we use a square tube in order to minimize rotation and to correlate the results to our previous planar results. This climbing mechanism is robust and can carry more than five times its own weight with a velocity of about a quarter of a meter per second. In simulation and experiments, we have found that the location of the eccentric rotating mass is crucial to the climbing gait and velocity. The rotating eccentric mass should be located above the highest contact point in order to climb upwards. The next footage shows the robustness of the climbing mechanism in different shape tubes. conclude, we have shown how a very simple, minimalistic mechanism can be used to propel itself up inside tubes. We have discussed some important parameters that will change the behavior of the robot. The robot can climb robustly and carry a few times its own body weight.